Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to grab some tools. You'll need wire snips, wire strippers, wrenches or sockets because we we're gonna to have to disconnect the battery since we're gonna be working with some electrical. Obviously, you're gonna need a dust cover, your four-way, and I, I use some friction tape. You can use electrical tape. All I'm doing here is I'm just measuring out how much wire I'm gonna need from that four-way connector because they usually come in like eight foot plus, I think some six foot. So that's way more than what I need. So I'm just measuring it out. I'm snipping off the access of it and then I'm going to start stripping the wires away and then I'll con connect it to the other side and this is why you don't want other people to work on your vehicles or anything else unless if you are completely confident in them because as you're going to see this jag off ended up using the duct tape with twist caps that's a no-no you don't want to do that at all look at this crap Now, since the mini rant's over with, I ran across all these twist caps. So they used twist caps and then they wired it up and then they used duct tape. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do this the right way. I'm just gonna be snipping off the exposed wire that, because that's no good anymore. And I'm just gonna strip away that wire coating and then we're going to just end up twisting that together with the new connector wire. So you want to do in your four-way connector the part that you cut off with the, the amount of slack that you need. I'm, gonna, I'm cutting off a little piece of my shrink wrap for the wire. I'm just going to end up using a lighter. You can use a hair, hair dryer or a heat gun. Uh, if you do use a lighter, you definitely want to be careful so you don't burn the coating off of your main lines or your main wire. So just kind of be careful, just kind of go around it and you'll see exactly how it works. It just kind of shrinks right to it. It's real easy. Now after when all the wires are done, then you just go back, you connect your battery again. This here is a four-way tester. Basically, you just plug it into the four-way that you just put on. You start your ignition. You put on one of your blinkers and you go and you look at the tester and you should have a light blinking. Then you go back and you put on the opposite blinker, take another look, same thing. And then you press the brake, which will help if there's another person that can just watch so you're not walking back and forth as and then you turn on your headlights and then there should be lights on there too and that's what the trailer is going to read and so that's why you want to make sure it all works just right as you can see my right blinker is working Now I'm adding friction tape because I ended up using a cap for one of the wires because one of the wires is thick. So this way it, it'll stay all connected. And I also wrap around that shrink wrap that I put on. This way everything's all secured. I don't have to worry about moisture and the dirt grime and all the other crap to get into there to mess up my wires again. I'm going to be putting on a dust cover to protect the four-way so this way salt, dirt, whatever kind of environment you live in, moisture doesn't get inside of it so you don't have to keep switching these things out. 
And then I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna use these really fancy little zip tie things, which I like because you don't have to use snips to uh, cut them off and they're reusable. So we're gonna slap that on and then we're gonna go pick up the trailer and I'll show you what that looks like when it's connected into the trailer port. up the trailer and as you can see doing those wire harnesses was really easy and I'm sure you were all able to tell and I'm sure I brought it up already of how irritated I was because of that hack job that was done I mean duct tape really and just using all twist caps I mean that that was that was piss poor so if you looked up this video and you wanted to learn how to do it, you've never done it before, hopefully it'll help you. You know, um, check out my other videos. Don't forget, you know, just learn different skills. You know, even if it's just a little bit here and there, just do something. You know, and you save yourself a lot of money, you save yourself a lot of time. You know, frustration, well, frustration kind of comes with anything mechanical, to be honest with you. As you can tell, you know, I was not happy at all with the duct tape and pretty much anything mechanical regardless you're gonna have issues with you know like what you've seen there in this video or rusted nuts something always goes wrong you know you just work through it that's all you can really do you know because at the end of the day you save some money and you learn something you know you learn a different technique of how to do something you know from getting up broken bolt out of something I don't know and then again we have YouTube and the internet which is completely different from when I was younger when you had to go to the library to get a book or you had to just figure it out yourself or ask the old timers but this here with this whole duct tape that was just dumb so just don't do dumb you know if you're gonna do if you're gonna fix something do it properly the first time save yourself a headache down the road you know, I mean, it wasn't terribly difficult, so don't get me wrong with that, but it was more frustrating because it was a hack job. So please like, subscribe, and uh, share my videos. Uh, there'll be more videos coming up down, down the road here. Um, and I'm going to hold on here and yeah, wait for this Yahoo to figure out what they're going to do. Uh, this is just an old lady, go figure. Eventually we'll all get old. But, you know, once again, please subscribe, share, you know, all, all the good stuff. Comment if you want to. Um, so, when I get back, I'll just do a real quick uh, shoot of it being hooked up to the trailer. Because that would have felt a little awkward, you know, while the U Haul guy is doing it and I'm recording them. Hey man, mind if I record you? I'll be like, what the hell's wrong with this dude? You know? So, alright, y'all take care.